Hello my dear students, welcome to Arise of Talent. I am your maths teacher Arpita Sharma. Students, we are discussing coordinate geometry, right? And coordinate geometry, in coordinate geometry, we have gone through the concepts and we were doing exercise. So, starting from writing the chapter's name, which is coordinate geometry. And I have told you guys, this is important chapter. Okay. Right or wrong? So, if I'll talk about the question, so we were on that question, that one question we were discussing, which is if three points, we have given with the three points and the triangle was an equilateral triangle and we have to find the value of lambda. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll first draw this triangle. And these having the points A and B and C. Now these points A, B, C are what? 0, 0. And this point is 3, comma, root 3. And the C point is 3, comma, lambda. So we basically have to find out the value of lambda. Uh, how we'll see that this is an equilateral triangle. This is an, this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle this is. If it's a equilateral triangle, that means these three sides are what? Equal. That means AB equals to AC equals to BC. Okay. So, I'll apply the same concept here and given what ABC is an equilateral, equilateral triangle. ABC is an equilateral triangle. Okay. What? ABC is an equilateral triangle. Now, this implies that and what other things are given that A is 0, 0, okay, and B is given, which is given 3, 3, comma root 3, and here C, which is given as 3 and lambda. So, this is the given thing, and we have to find, to find value of lambda, value of lambda. Okay, so if it is an equilateral triangle, so solution, we can write in the solution part that AB equals to AC equals to BC. AB is equals to AC is equals to BC. Why? Because it is an equilateral triangle. That is so simple. So, come here. By distance formula, What is the distance formula? If it is on the origin, so AB. I will talk about AB and I will talk about AC. Because A is origin and if A is origin, A is 0, 0. So, 0, 0 is origin. If now A is 0, 0 and which is origin, that means it will having that particular formula that is x square plus y square in it. And here also that will be having x square plus y square if it is origin. So, if it is uh, origin now the x1 and x and y in the case of b the point b is having 3 and root 3 as an x and y. So, x square is 3 square and the y uh, sorry y square is root 3 square. So, root 3 root 3 square. Now, root 3 square is what? 3 and uh, 3 to the power 2 is what? 9. So, root 12 plus, sorry, uh, complete root 12. Why root 12? Because this is 9, this is 9 and root 3 square is 3. So, 9 plus 3 is root 12. So, this is root 12. Now, if I will go with that, this is AC. If I will go with that, that means that will be equals to root of x square which is x square in the terms of c it is 3 square plus lambda square so that will be equals to that's your first that's your second and that's your third equation you are good okay now that will be 9 plus lambda square 9 plus lambda square now look at this uh, first second and third this is equal so that and that will be also equal okay so by first and second and third equation. But first and second and third equation, you find out that AB equals to AC, that means root 12 equals to 
root 12 equals to root of lambda square plus 9. You can write that lambda square plus uh, 9 plus lambda square equals to lambda square plus 9. So, that will be if you square both the sides. If you square both the sides, that will become lambda square plus 9 equals to 12. That means 9 minus 12. 9 minus 12 is what? 9 minus 12 is sorry. Uh, 12 minus 9 is what? 3. So, lambda square is equals to 3. So, lambda will be equals to simply it will be root 3. So, this will be your answer. So, that is your answer students. Okay. So, not this not this question so that we can move forward to next question students. Okay. Noted. Right. So, for the value for the value lambda is equals to root 3. So, now the coordinates are 3 root 3 and 3 root 3 again. So, here is some confusion or what? Mm -hmm. 3 root 3 and 3 root 3. These are two same questions. Uh, same 3 points. Okay. A B equals to root 12. 9 plus root 3 that is 12. A C equals to Okay, root 12 equals to lambda square plus 9. So, that will be lambda square equals to. Okay, so this is so, this is 3 root 3 and 3 root 3. Note it and we will move to the next question. Okay. Hmm, what we were uh, thinking is right. There, lambda equals to root 3 is not will be your answer. Why it is not is your answer? Okay. Why it is not your answer? Because we were seeing this triangle and this was 0, 0 and this was 3, root 3 and this was 3, lambda. Now, the lambda's value. Lambda square is equals to 3. So, lambda's value will be either root 3 or minus root 3. Root 3 or minus root 3. There will be two values, but we will pick only minus root 3 value. Why? Because we are having it advance this value. This value 0 comma root 3 value we are always uh, we are already having as first point. Now, at the second point we will be having 0 comma minus root 3. So, this answer that will be here 0 comma sorry 3 comma minus root 3. Your 3 comma 3, uh, root 3 already exist. So, your new coordinates of this particular point will be 3 comma minus root 3. Why we have not taken the value root 3? Because it is already exist. If we take this uh, as root 3, we will be having two coordinates as zero, uh, 3 comma root 3 and 3 comma root 3 which is not possible. That will be the same same point. That will be not an equilateral triangle. Okay. Now I have to delete it. Okay. So done with the question. Now moving forward to the next question. The midpoint of the line joining this 8 comma 2 and uh, 3 comma 6 is 2 comma b. Find the values of a and b. Okay. So, we are having two things and we will be having two equations and we are having uh, fortunately two, two what? Two equations also because there is a line joining a comma 2 and 3 comma 6 a comma 2 and 3 comma 6 and the midpoint the midpoint is 2 comma b now this is your x and y1 this is your x y and this is your x2 y2 so basically you guys having given you guys given with this 
x, x1, x2 and y and y1 and y2 is equals to So this x is equals to 2, x1 is equals to a and x2 equals to 3 and this y is equals to b and this y1 is equals to 2 and this y2 is equals to 6. Okay. So these are the given parameters. Now we have to deal with the solution part. So to find this Okay, it's not visible I think. So, I have to rewrite it for you. We have to find what we have to find values of A is equals to what and B is equals to what. Okay, so we have provided, uh, I will name it A, B, C as C is midpoint. As C is midpoint, this implies that x equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y equals to y1 plus y2 by 2. This is so, if this is the midpoint, that will be the uh, particular what formula for this x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. Now, dear students, put the values here that this implies that x, x is 2. Now, 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 here x1, x1 is a and 3. So, a plus 3 by 2 and y, y is what? See here, b, b is equals to 2 plus 6 by 2. By these equations, students, I will be having this 2 to 4 equals to a plus 3 then this a equals to 1, a is equals to 1 your answer and here if I will go here b will be equals to 2 b will be equals to what um, 8. So, b will be equals to 4. So, here I am having these two values ok. So, this a equals to 1 and b equals to 2 is your what answer. Okay, so now what you have to do, you just have to copy these, copy, copy it, okay, should I rub? Okay, so waiting for the next question, right? Next question is the points P divides the line segment joining the points this and this in the ratio 3 comma 5 find the point B. So, you have to find the abscess and ordinate of point B. Understood or not? Yes or no? No or yes? So, this is a line. Not saying <clears throat> sorry, uh, the point P divides, so point P is here which is minus 4 comma 1 and this is the same point we write it x comma y. Divide the line segment joining the points A, A, A point is here which is 2 comma minus 2 the same point A which we call x1 and y1, okay and B, so there is some B point and the coordinates are x to y to and the ratio m is given m by n is equals to 3 and n equals to 5. So, it divides the line though in the ratio uh, 3 by 5. So, these are the given given things. So, can I write these given things again? Hmm? So, that that will be easy for our calculations. So, x1 x, x2, y1, y, y2, okay. 
okay now students you are having this x1 is equals to 2 x equals to minus 4 and x2 equals to x2 there is nothing you have to find the value of x2 and y2 now you have y1 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 is minus 2 you have y y is 1 okay now you have to find out this x and y x2 and y2 okay okay mm, sorry so bisection formula now i have to take attention of you guys you are having fine kind of formula here which is first p x comma y that is equals to p right now the value of x is here with this uh, mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n and my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n bracket close this is the formula this is the formula okay so you are having the value m and and if you divide the complete equation by n here also and here also you are having one more which is equals to p lambda x2 plus x1 uh, plus x1 by lambda plus 1 and lambda y2 plus y1 upon lambda plus 1. So, if I will talk about lambda, so the lambda is m plus by n and that is equals to given 3 by 5. Okay, so you can do it either way. I am taking this method. So, by this implies that this implies that the value of x equals to mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n and value of y is nothing but is equals to my2 plus my1 upon m plus m plus n right students okay so you are having this x equals to m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n and y equals to m y 2 plus m y 1 upon m plus n now now just put the values the value of x is minus 4 equals to m is m is 3 and uh, n is 5. So, m is 3 and n is 5. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay. So, that is equals to x2. x2 is x2. And here that is x1. Now, x1 is 2. And simultaneously finding the value of y. y is what? y is 1 here. Can I just put 1 here? At the place of y, I will be just having this 1 and that will be equals to m again 3 multiplied by something and uh, that is n students. Okay. So, n right n multi n now n is what 5 multiplied by something and this is equal this is divided by 8. Now, what is y2? y2 is y2 you have to find the value of y2 and what is y1? y1 is minus 2. So, I will just have to solve this. Now, that will be minus 32 equals to 3x2 plus 10 and that will be 8 equals to 3y2 that is minus of 10. Right. Now, that is 3x2, 3x2 minus 10 here, so that will be minus of 42. So, x2 equals to minus of 42 by 3. Okay, and 
y2 again this is 42 minus 10 here so minus 42 and they divided by 3 so minus 42 by 3 and y2 y2 is equals to what minus of 10 will come here so that will be 8 plus 10 8 plus 10 is 18 18 by 3 okay so if you solve all the uh, if you uh, if you solve these two you will be finding what the values of x2 as 3 ones are 3 minus 3 ones are 3 12 so fourth is are 12 so minus 14 and y2 y2 is simply 6 okay so this is your basic answer right this is your answer now you can say that this p is what p is not this P, mm -hmm. not this P, but your B. So, your B is what? B is minus 14, comma 6. This is your answer. Right? This is your answer. Note this is students. Note this. Okay, so you have completed it. Now, we will go with the next question. Okay, now we are having this question, the next question which is the having third which is of a triangle, if it is 2 vertices are minus 1, 4, 5, 2 and midpoints of one side is 0 and 3. Okay, so what is asking the vertices of a triangle, so it is a triangle, clearly it is a triangle, okay, so the triangle is here. And if it's the triangle here and it's having the vertices, two vertices are given. Minus 1, comma 4. Let's suppose it's A. And second is B, which is 5, comma 2. The midpoint of one of the side. Midpoint of one of the side. So, one of the side is? what 0 comma 3 okay so either this side or this side is having something 0 comma 3 as midpoint okay so this is having because we can find the midpoint of this okay so this is a point p this is a point c and this is 1 comma 3 let's suppose the coordinates are here x and y okay so this coordinate is x and y now how will I solve it? You will you will take care of these all given things given and to find all these things. I am just uh, writing the solution. How will you do it? The first and second is given to you. Now if this is given to you as a midpoint of these two, if this is the midpoint of these two, what will you find? Uh, you, what will you see that? If, if P 1 comma 3 is midpoint of C x comma y and B 5 comma 2. Then if it is midpoint then that is equals to this plus this x plus 5 by 2 and 3 is equals to y plus 2 by 2. That means 2 equals to x plus 5 and 6 equals to y plus 2. From here students, 
from here you can say that x equals to 3 and from there you can say that y equals to 4. The x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 these are the coordinates that is so simple you just have to make the diagram right. So, note it so that we can move forward ok. So, done with this question now rubbing this question ok. Ok students, so this is about the exercise of this chapter ok. We have given through, uh, we have gone through what and what ok. So, should we rewind all these things? Uh, basically, we what in the theory part, um, in the theory part right from starting, mm -hmm, let us wait. We have uh, this first ok, if I will go with the starting part, starting part. Hmm. Coordinate geometry. I have told you about this uh, this definition, and we have gone through the Cartesian coordinates and rectangular coordinates. We call it also as like this. Okay. Then we have uh, talked about the axis, the axis of coordinates. That is x-axis and y-axis. And then about the origin, the zero comma zero. You know all this now. Then the axis are that the the x the x coordinate is axis, and the y coordinate is what or um, Ordinate. Okay, so we, uh, we then we talked about this quadrant. The quadrant was very interesting. The first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, and after that we have some rules that uh, that uh, this is plus plus, this is this is uh, minus plus, this is minus minus, and this is this is plus minus. Okay, so here we were having these sign conventions, and we studied in the this form then the figure ok some questions yes this was this was a worth that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this was the difference of axis and difference of ordinates square that is equals to any distance any distance about in um, in between two points is equals to what root of axis uh, root of difference of axis uh, um, a square minus difference of ordinate then we find out that if a point is 0 0 and we have to find the distance from it that it will be x square plus y square whole root and we have used in a recent question this for property ok. So, and we have done some questions, questions and questions and then the suction formula came into the picture here. The suction formula uh, when it is internally dividing this point is internally dividing this uh, these two a p and p b uh, from this a b. So, here m and uh, n are the ratios of a p by p b in that condition we find out that this uh, this coordinates uh, that coordinate p is p is coordinate um, and ordinate x comma y will equals to m x 2 plus n x 1 upon uh, m plus 1 and the y uh, then the y will be equals to m y 2 plus n y 1 upon upon m plus n ok then uh, coordinates of p right and we then uh, we then understood then if the point is midpoint if that uh, that point is midpoint that means this is dividing the line segment in ones to one ratio. So, we just uh, uh, replace the values of m and n we find out that the uh, coordinates will be x 1 plus x 2 by 2 and y 1 plus y 2 by 2 ok. So, and we find out the trick for remembering the formula in initial phase, but now we know the formula we can uh, just give th that formula by tongue we have remember it ok. So, this is the formula we studied then we replace this lambda, lambda is equals to m by n here, lambda is equals to m by n here and here. So, we replaced uh, m by n by lambda, how we did that we uh, just divided both the denominator and uh, numerator by n and replace that and we will find this new 
formula of lambda x2 plus x1 by lambda plus 1 and lambda y2 plus y1 upon uh, lambda plus 1. Okay. And then we have these kind of 1, 2, 3 and type 4 type of uh, questions in our particular syllabus. So, this is the exercise um, uh, remaining question we have discussed and we have also revised that complete thing that we have discovered in this particular chapters theory. Okay, so this is about today. In our next session, we will meet with a fresh chapter. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.